G'day fellow mud over loggers, the bandit nav on uh, Ruby the Suzuki Bandit on this uh, Wednesday afternoon, very cold day. Well to our standards, our standards it is very cold, it's be about 12 degrees I suppose. But anyway, uh, the subject today I have is uh, what's been bantered around in the media and uh, that sort of thing is real wages growth that it's been stagnant for many many years now but the CPI keeps going up and uh, the federal government in their wisdom has given uh, the low paid workers so to speak a uh, ten dollar a week tax cut and all as I say is whoopee do. The big end of town, well, that's going to get even a better better tax cut, which they don't deserve. <coughs> and uh, I can tell you the reason why wages growth has been stagnant for so many years is because the Liberal government's in, folks. The Liberal government, as soon as they get in, they start attacking the unions. Attack, attack, attack. Because they know if they can get rid of the unions, and they have done a lot of damage since they've been in, that you, the worker, have not one foot to stand on against your employer. They know that if you own a mortgage and you've got children and that sort of thing, you need to work and uh, well, they've got you by the short and curlies and uh, whatever's hanging down below it, they'll start to squeeze and uh, they're squeezing folks they're squeezing so all this banter about why real wages have it has been stagnant over the past seven years well now you know folks now I have no doubt this is going on not only here in Australia but everywhere else too uh, from what I'm hearing it's all the uh, employer and nothing for the employee and that is because folks we've let it happen we've been too piss weak and we've let it happen We've had a lot of fake news about unions and we've let it happen and we've dropped out because we're too scared of losing our jobs. So what all our ancestors fought for is now just about destroyed. And uh, not so much me, but you, the younger generation, will be paying dearly for it. You'll be working for peanuts while the big companies are sitting back and making billions and billions of dollars. Okay, yeah, I, I agree that there has been some unions that have been naughty and uh, they should be punished. But have a look what's been going on with the banks recently. How they've been ripping the, uh, the workers off and the low paid people off and uh, charging them uh, fees and charges where, they, where they're actually not even giving any uh, service for so and it took the Liberals years to decide to have a Royal Commission in that but as soon as they got in they had a Royal Commission they had a Royal Commission into the into the unions and where did it get them folks absolutely nowhere it cost you the taxpayer a million dollars or more to have that Royal Commission and it got nowhere so folks we've got a federal election coming up think about what I've said and think about your vote this time Bandit Nevon uh, Ruby the Suzuki Bandit giving you a heads up on uh, what this rotten Liberal government over here is doing at the moment So until uh, next time on this cold Wednesday afternoon, even colder up here in the hills, bidding you all 
a very, very, very safe riding. And until next time, a cheers for now.